All right, we're on page uh, 12 and 13 now, called the point slope equation. This is um, using a new formula that they're going to give us. Point slope. This is a form of the uh, linear equation that is um, recommended to use if they give us the slope. Okay, they give us the m value, and they give us one point. Okay. So this point is going to be, this is going to represent, remember, the x1, y1. So we have these two values here, okay? x1, y1. Here's the m. Now, I've, I chose two problems from the lesson that I think are probably two of the more challenging ones because they have fractions in them, okay? Nobody likes fractions. So let's at least get you going on them, you know, make sure we have them set up and then uh, get you to a point where you can finish it. <clears throat> let's take this equation right here, y minus, now what's the y1? y1 is the second value here, so mi minus one half equals negative three parentheses x, okay, so I just took the negative 3, plugged it in for m, keep the x, minus, and then x1 is the negative 1, all right? That was confusing. But I, I put parentheses here so I can plug in the negative 1. <clears throat> so basically this just gives me negative 3 parentheses x plus 1, okay? and y minus one half. All right, so let's distribute that out. Outside times the first, outside times the second. And then we want to bring the half over here to this side. So we'll add one half and add one half, okay? Now in order to do that, we need to get a common denominator. So negative 3 is going to become negative 6 over 2. So now I'm going to have to combine negative 6 over 2 plus 1 half. So I have y equals negative 3x, negative 6 plus positive 1. Subtract the smaller from the larger. Keep the sign of the larger 5. Keep the sign of the larger, so negative 5 halves. Now my question is, how do they want us to write the equation? Ah, okay, they want us to rearrange it so that we have the x and the y on the left. So the x term, the y term, and then the constant, okay? So we actually want to bring this 3x over here to this side. Switch sides, switch signs. Positive 3x plus y equals the negative 5 halves. All right, well, hey, if you stuck with me, you basically have the answer. Don't just copy it, though. I want you to see how we did this. But we're bringing, we've got to get it in this form, where you have the ax plus by equals C. Okay. <clears throat> and now I'm just verifying that I did that correctly. A13 and Why am I? Maybe it's too late at night. My brain is criticizing me and saying I didn't get it in the right form. Okay, yeah, so the last thing that we need to do, good point, good point, I'm glad I looked, okay? So we're not quite done. The last thing we need to do is get rid of any fractions, okay? So we still have a fraction here. We can't have a fraction on this side. What would I have to multiply times this to get rid of the fraction? Did you say two? Did I hear two? Yay! So multiply the whole equation by 2, okay? And now you can finish it. So I didn't give you the final answer. Distribute that out, distribute that out, distribute that out. Leave your answer in that form. Okay, let's just set this one up. Again, we have a fraction for the m, and we have a fraction over here for y. 
Let's take our equation, y minus y1, which is negative 4 thirds, okay, equals m, which is negative 4 thirds, parentheses, x minus 1, okay? <clears throat> this becomes y plus 4 thirds, negative 4 thirds x, negative times negative is positive 4 thirds. You know what, this one's going to be easier than you think. I can see it already. Nice. Because when you subtract the 4 thirds from both sides, you see what happens? Cool. So then you just got to bring this over so that you have the x on the same side as the y equals that um, magic number. And then we have to get rid of the 3. So what would we have to multiply to get rid of the fractional denominator? 3. Yep. So when you get to that step, multiply the whole equation by 3, get rid of all the denominators. <clears throat> and in that case, the answer on the right is going to be pretty easy. And you'll have an x term and a y term over here on the left. Okay? <clears throat> it's just a matter of following the formula. Show your work here because I do see that in the score key they do show all the steps. Okay, so that is helpful. So if you um, set up your work, you show your steps, and then you go to the score key and you get something wrong, you might be able to see, oh, it's just a negative sign. Okay, some little thing, and then you don't have to start over. So hopefully the concept is not too hard, and uh, it's only 10 problems on that page. Hopefully that goes well for you. Coming up next. Two-point equation, yay!